So what I want to know then next, um, and, you know, what's your view on, you know, whose responsibility is? Is this a responsibility or an opportunity or is it both for employers? What do we think? Jane, I'll come to you first. Um, I, I think, I think if I'm honest, it has to, to be both. And um, just to explain, when, when I'm not doing stuff like this for film, well, I, I do work as a reward consultant. So I'm out there with lots of different employers. And, and the thing that they always ask me to do, whether it's to do with pay or benefits or whatever else is, you know, it's all about trying to get more out of less because just as people are struggling financially, you know, the, the world of commerce, as it would have been called in the 1970s, is, is having these same issues of, of rising costs and, and you know, less investment um, than perhaps they used to be. Um, so I think it's, it's, it is both a, a responsibility and opportunity. I think responsibility, um, because actually if employers don't do it, I, I think that very, very few else will do. Um, I know that that one of the banks at the moment has got an advert. I don't know if anyone's seen it. The guy in the lift, who when he gets his job, he goes through the lift and he goes to see payroll, and his mum and dad are like, "All oh, start saving in your pension," and his friends are like, "All oh, your rent are due," and they they do this kind of money money coaching idea. Um, but actually, there, there's very little out there which is kind of comprehensive and and in people's faces. Mm. But I think more than anything, it is um, an opportunity. Um, we have as as employers we have kind of captive audiences for this kind of thing and i think as well you know we all talk about our employee engagement scores and how we want to to improve them but i think there is an inherent amount of trust with with employers um so the opportunity to put this in as part of your your benefits package or well-being package um is is really a a quick win um but also you know let, let's let's be honest here we don't do anything completely altruistically we're spending a huge amount of money on benefits, whether it's, you know, pensions or or health cover or even putting in an, an employee discounts platform. So I think it is a real opportunity for employers to kind of join the dots and rather than have quite a, um, a bitty conversation about benefits and reward and, and what's available to people, it is a join the dots moment. It is about talking to people about what's available to them and, and the impact that, that comes from it. Um, and it's also a conversation starter. Um, you know, I've talked about auto enrolment before. Auto enrolment got people talking about pensions, um, and thankfully they did. Um, and I'm sure John John will echo this because you know for so long people have been effectively paying for something and and not realising what it was. Um, and and that was really brought out to me actually. I did a, a financial education session. It would have been back in 2009, 2010. And there was someone there who thought that a final salary pension meant that you'd be retiring on your final salary, yeah. um, which was a bit of a worry because that person was due to retire in a month and didn't realise that actually they were retiring on a final salary. Um, so I think, you know, the opportunities for employers are, are really there to, to check that understanding, but also to, you know, really drive understanding and value. And the more workshops I do, the more with employees the more it scares me about how um how little employees know or how muddled their thinking is mm -hmm. and that doesn't represent good value for employers when they're they're spending money i'd love to come in on that particularly around the pension piece so i spend a lot of my time having one-to-ones with employees talking specifically about how their existing scheme works and how great it is generally. But I so often hear people say that auto enrollment has meant that their employers taking more money off them and they see it as a negative thing rather than a positive thing. They don't necessarily see their uh, pension scheme as a benefit. They see it as something that takes money out of their wages each month. And yet, it seen in the right way to my mind it can be a real enhancer in terms of the overall benefits package that employers provide and can be a, a real motivator for staying with particular companies if their if their pension scheme is particularly attractive but so many people particularly younger people as well who haven't yet found that passion of thinking when am I retiring and how much am I going to get and I really need to pay attention to this see it almost as a negative rather than a positive mm -hmm. um, and that can very easily be changed with just a small amount of education and support yep
without wishing to make this a pension conversation, uh, I, I'll, I'll carry on in that theme. And I haven't got the stat, and I can't even remember exactly what the stat was, but it doesn't matter. A couple of years ago, there was a survey out looking at people that have been auto-enrolled into pension schemes. So these are people that are actually parting with money each month. And a huge number of them, I think it was about one in four, but I might be wrong on that, but it was a significant number, didn't even know they were in a pension scheme. They mm. had no idea, even though they were actively paying into it, their company's actively paying into it, they must be getting stuff through the post and they're not looking at it. So it just shows you how little education, how little understanding mm. there is. And whenever you turn on the radio or read a paper, you will find a journalist saying something stupid, um, which doesn't <laughs> make sense. But strangely, people follow what the journalist says rather than what yeah. the experts say. So there's, there's a big gulf opening up there that we need to fill that void. And we'll come on to, I was just going to say, we, we'll, we'll come on to talking a little bit about why it's in the employer's best interest, but we're certainly seeing the opposite trends. We're seeing people opting out of pensions rather than opting in. We're seeing um, the, you know, the underlying root cause of most stress and anxiety in the workplace at the moment is money worries. You bring that into work, then that's going to impact on productivity and presenteeism and, and all of those things. So I do think the employer has a responsibility, but it's also an opportunity for the employer to create that well-being culture of, of looking after employees. And, and that is now, you know, a really well sought after kind of benefit, isn't it? That culture of well-being. So, but I know it's not easy, guys, right? Mm -hmm.